Hello, this is Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm participating in the Mystery Box Challenge hosted by Leah at Junko Necker and Fabi at Arrows DIY. And I got my package from MB Gray Designs, Mary Beth. And we're going to see what she sent me. I'm a little excited and scared at the same time. I just opened the top. I haven't looked inside. So let's see here. We have... Oops. I'm not sure if this is hard. Craft item number two. It's a little tray with a star on it. I like anything wood. We got here craft item number one. Some burlap ribbon. So far so good. Oh my goodness. This is probably the challenge item. It's a... What is it called? It's a bath mat. Okay. I'm not sure what to do with that. Interesting design. I could probably use it as a stencil, maybe. We'll see. Okay. Oh, I should have read the card first, huh? says here, hi Nancy, I hope you didn't go too hard on you. I hope I didn't go too hard on you, lol. It was fun being in this challenge with you. Hugs, Mary Beth from MB Gray Designs. Let's see what the other items are. Here's an, okay, we got, this fell off of something, we'll, we'll figure it out. This is craft item number three, it's a, the little, Metal wreath forms, the two pack. Hmm. And I'm thinking that well, this is mystery item number one. It is a dog toy. Okay. Interesting. Probably take it apart, maybe. It's a nice color. And it's not sure where this came from. Oh, no. I'm not sure. Oh, th this may have come off the mat. Okay. So the two mystery items were the mat and the dog toy. Okay. And she sent me a little gift too. Look how cute the little unicorn is. Little zip and pouch. Oh, she sent me some craft items. She sent me some chalkboard tags. And some more ribbon. Ooh, Valentine ribbon. I can use that in, in my other DIYs that I'm working on for Valentine's. So that. I think, I believe that's it. Let's see. Yep, that's it. So the craft item she sent me was the box. The the rings. And what was the other? I know she sent me three things. It's hiding somewhere. Oh well. Got a mess on my desk right now. Well, we'll see. Come back and see what I make with these. These two things, interesting. Well, I'll be back in a few days with what I made with these things. So, step, come back. Well, it's been a few days, and I'm going to start with the dog toy. It's sort of like a rope um, type item, so I wanted to see if what I wanted to do with it, I had enough of it. So I just unraveled the whole thing, and there's three strands in, each, in the rope itself, so I unraveled those as well. And um, at the ends, I'm going to keep um, some of it because it looks like um, I can use it for doll hair in the future.
as I said before, this is part of the mystery box challenge hosted by Leah at Junkernecker and Favi at Eros DIY. I'll leave the playlist down below and their channels as well. This is my first mystery box challenge. I was happy to be included in this group of ladies. It's interesting, the box that I sent Leah in her package is the same box that Mary Beth sent me. Not the same exact box, but you know what I mean. So I painted it with the, I think it was Elephant in the, from Waverly. And then the bat mat, I thought I could cut it up and use it as a stencil. I'm going to show you um, what I did here. And um, I did not like it, but I'll show you how it turned out. And what I actually did with the bat mat later on. Here's what it looks like after I pulled the stencil, the bat mat off. I did not like it, uh, so I repainted it. I was hoping for the circles to be uh, in the center to be more um, prominent, but it just it, it was looked it looked like it was missing something. So I took a piece of the bat mat, um, the size of the inside of the box, so I thought it would give it a, an interesting texture on the inside of the box, and I started painting it with the black Waverly paint, but I didn't like the way it was looking out either, so I decided to use some of my silver spray paint, and that's what the color I ended up using. I think it was a Krylon looking glass uh, spray paint. Don't we wish sometimes we had three hands to work with? <laughs> this is my husband trying to figure out, help me figure out what else I could do with the bat mat. And we were trying to figure out if this if it would work as a, just putting it somewhere as dots or something. I met, it was interesting to use this, this bat mat. I'm using one of the two um, wreath forms that she sent me. And I'm attaching it to the box where it's, it's like sandwiching the box. So it will be like a sort of like a wreath on the box itself. So I'm trying to think of what else I can do here. If I can do, use the ribbon or something or other. But I'm going to use the ribbon to cover the back of the wires there. So even though I'm going to hot glue that down, I'm going to also hot glue the, the burlap ribbon on top of it to cover the mechanism in the back.
and here's where the piece of bath I cannot say bath mat <laughs> I, that I sprayed with the silver um, spray paint and I think it looks uh, it gives it a pop on the inside of the box versus just the, um, I was trying to blend it and I was trying to do it with black but I think the silver came out better What I did with the dog toy, I'm going to be wrapping it around the wreath form. And be careful because um, as you tw turn, as you're wrapping it, it starts to untwist. And I like the twist on the um, on the rope itself, so I had to every step now and then just adjust the twist. I ended up using two of the pieces of the of the when I unwrapped it and I'm gonna use the third one for something else. Keep on the lookout. I used some of the rope that was left from wrapping the wreath to wrap it around the box. I'm using one of the craft items she sent extra um, to add to the front of the box. And I'm using this double sided foam because since the rope is thick, it's wobbling on the front of the rope. So I'm going to um, add this to the back of the tag on the top and below the rope so it's all even. And I also paint that the same gray as the box so it blends in. You don't you won't see the white. I added to the bottom four half round beads for feet. And you can see I also tried the bat mat at the bottom there. But since it's at the bottom, I didn't really care to repaint it. So it gives, gives it a little extra tech design at the bottom if they ever lift it up. And I'm here um, painting the wreath. The same color as the box so I could blend in a little bit more and doing some touch-ups and I'm when I'm doing that I'm thinking to myself this looks too much like a steering wheel <laughs> cover so I'm here trying to think, think what else I can do to that wreath to make it look different I still had bur plenty of that burlap ribbon left so I decided to cut some pieces and glue it across the back of the wreath, trying to make it look um, less of a steering wheel cover. But I'm sure not, still not sure what I was planning on doing, but it was a uh, trial and error throughout this um, project.
when I'm hot gluing the ribbon on the back of the wreath, I'm overlapping where the wire is so that way I can glue them together. But I'm using Fabric Fix to glue the ribbon together, but hot glue to glue it to the back of the wreath. Because I didn't want the, the um, hot glue to show through the front. To brighten up the darkness of this, um, I'm not sure what I want to call it yet. I have some of these um, daisies that I got from Panda Hall Selected. It's, it comes in a roll and I just cut a few out and glue them around the wreath. And then I put one over the hole on the plaque in the front. I thought that the burlap ribbon was great to hold earrings because the um, the mesh is tr tight enough. So I used it, uh, that to hold um, earrings. So you could use it. Add some bracelets or necklaces on the bottom with some scrunchies, and you know to personalize it with uh, the, with the little girl's name on the front. So what would you use these items for? I'm not sure <laughs> if I would come up with the same thing if I had the same items again. I'll link the rest of the playlist down below. Um, go watch Junker Necker's um, video. She, um, I'm the one that sent her her box and see what she made. If you're liking this content, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, be brave, be strong, and create out of the box.